So I wake up this morning in beautiful British Columbia, panorama, I'm on vacation, it's paradise. And uh, I read this article in my news feed that infuriates me and makes me want to come out here and uh, get some stuff off my chest. The article talks about Aaron O'Toole, this member of parliament who recently ran for uh, Conservative Party of Canada leadership, came in third. And he's whipping everyone, wanting everyone to get behind Andrew Scheer, demanding unity. And he's, he's denigrating this group called Conservative Futures. And this group is run by a bunch of young people who are concerned about liberty, about libertarian ideas, about open markets, you know, about the things that this country was founded on. The idea of liberty, the idea that government ought to be restricted, that you ought to uh, be free to, to build your own destiny, to, to go out into nature and hack your existence out of nature and, and make a life for yourself and flourish. This is why my great grandparents fled communist Russia to come here and were able to build themselves up from living in a grain bin, planting crops in ditches on the side of the road because they couldn't afford land and building up a future and giving their ancestors some amount of privilege because of their hard work. And the Conservative Party of Canada doesn't care about that stuff. See, they hate liberals, it seems, more than they love liberty. And their job is to get the liberals out, not to advance liberty. And this is why government continues to grow and grow every year. Even when the Conservatives are in power, it might slow down the growth, but it still grows even when they're in power. And so uh, these kids are concerned about that, and they should be because they look at the job market and they see there's fewer and fewer jobs. They have to live at home with their parents longer and longer. Uh, they're paying into the system of Social Security and Canada Pension, and they know that they're only going to get two-thirds back what they're contributing to that system. You know, original contributors to old age security could expect to get 17 times back what they put into it. Young people, the so-called entitled generation, can expect to get two-thirds back. And so they're continually being characterized and mocked and denigrated by the Conservatives who, who do nothing to build bridges to them. You know, they, they sign on to, they, they whip their MPs into showing support for the Paris Climate Accord, right? So on top of uh, having an uncertain economic future, on top of having to contribute more than they get back, they're now being taxed. They're, they're saying the very thing that they breathe out is going to, going to be taxed. That everything is going to be more expensive for them as a result. And, and conservatives are doing nothing to address these, these legitimate concerns by young people who are awake to what's going on. And not only that, you know, at the same time uh, they're basically being thrown under the bus, you have Andrew Scheer who is the leader, who's trying to unify this party. They're trying to, you know, who should be paying uh, some attention to these people, to listening to, to their concerns, to listening to why Maxime Bernier got nearly 50% support. Um, you can see that instead of doing this, he's out in the east coast of Canada, and I was just there, and so I, I have it on good authority from Boots on the Ground, that he was going from dairy farm to dairy farm, reassuring each of these farmers that Supply management is going to continue. They're going to continue to be able to print money off the backs of young people um, and, and they're going to make out like bandits. When instead he should have been going to people that support him, people that have a future in this country and, and reassuring them and building bridges and saying, listen, we're going to do what we can to get these liberty ideas. Yes, we have to maybe compromise here on supply management. I understand that, but you know, the payoff is going to be more liberty in the end. I mean, that would at least sound credible, but he's not even doing that. He's, he, he's simply saying, look, yeah, we're going to entrench crony capitalism in this system. So, yes, uh, th this is the Conservative Party of Canada showing its colors once again. I remember the same thing happened under the Harper regime. You know, they, they got all this libertarian support behind Harper. He united all the Conservatives, including the Libertarians, and, and paid lip service to them. And then as soon as he got elected, he purged them. He threw them under the bus. There is a systematic, uh, coordinated effort to purge libertarians from the party. I don't see why this is any different. This is evidence of exactly the same thing happening. Uh, and you guys are old and busted. You're boring. People are tired of, of government growing and growing under conservatives. They're tired of 
a group of people who hates liberals more than they love liberty, who loves security more than they love liberty, who wants to get votes and get short-term gratification at the expense of the long-term of our children. And our children are getting upset, our children are getting concerned, our children can't find jobs, and you guys are playing crony capitalism, you're running around throwing these kids under the bus, and it's, it's sick. So listen, if you're part of Conservative Futures, you, you got a friend in the Libertarian Party of Canada. You know, I, I think you're, you ought to change the name to Libertarian Futures because that's what this country was founded on, Libertarian principles, and conservatism doesn't mean anything other than not liberal these days. I mean, if liberals are, are, are open borders, conservatives are closed borders. Uh, you know, historically liberals have been closed borders and conservatives have been open borders. So which is it? What, what's the conservative principle here? There isn't one, it's just anti-liberal. We're the party of principle, we'll support you, join us, and let's make these guys, these old boys pay, let's discipline them. It's the only way they're ever gonna learn, it's the only way we're ever gonna shrink government. Join us at libertarian.ca, and good luck with your conservative futures.